Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Okay, pack one, pick one. Opened a pretty sweet rare, I would say. Fleetfoot Dancer. Quite powerful. Three colors, of course, not the easiest to cast necessarily. What else do we have? Virtuoso. Pretty decent card if we can combine it with some auras or pump spells. The upstart, probably just weaker than Fleetfoot Dancer. Although we can hope to wheel it. There's Murder in black. What else do we have? The uh, Roastmaster is reasonable. We've got some removal and kill shots, but yeah, I think it's between like a Murder and probably a Fleetfoot Dancer if we want to take the powerful three color card. So, yeah, let's give that a shot. And then hope to pick up enough mana fixing. Even though there's a chance we wouldn't be able to cast uh, the Dancer reliably. Still seems like the most fun option. Next up, get a solid two drop in the Mayhem Patrol. And then we maybe want to set up like a, a red base aggro deck that can splash a Fleet Food Dancer. Uh, maybe red white or red green. What else do we have? Exhibition Magician, always reasonable. There's the Bypass that would have combined with a Virtuoso from previous pack. And the Security Rocks if we want to go deeper into treasures. Don't think I need to prioritize it now. Swooping Protector, kind of expensive as a flyer, but comes with a shield counter on it, which is nice. I think I'm gonna prioritize the two drops. And uh, Mayhem Patrol has been pretty decent, so... Next up, we have a couple mana fixers, either Plaza or Courtyard, both decent. Probably prefer Plaza, but would love a Courtyard on the wheel as well. There's another Mayhem Patrol if we want it, which is also an option here. So what are we thinking? Second Mayhem Patrol or first Plaza? It might be the 2-drop, and then hope that one of either Plaza or Courtyard wheels. Sure. And then we're also not committed to Naya colors necessarily. If we open like some great black card, we can still go black-red. There's another Virtuoso getaway car. It's not bad either, especially if we have a lot of cheap creatures. And... Uh, yeah, 4-3 haste can beat down pretty hard. So, you know, vehicles aren't always amazing, but the getaway car is pretty easy to crew. So I could see picking that up. Otherwise it's Virtuoso, maybe go like red-white splash green. Or there's another Cabaretti Courtyard. How many cards do I have? Three. So this would be my fourth one for the collection. Yeah, I guess that's a good tiebreaker. We have a big score, always useful. Uh, cemetery tampering, I could also use one more for the collection. But uh, a big score is actually pretty decent. Uh, ready to rumble, kind of clunky removal. Mr. Orfeo, I guess we could still maybe support. Although, would require us going into another color potentially. Yeah, big score seems fine. Since I don't know yet if I want to be red or if I want to be green or white as my secondary color, but we know for a fact we're playing red as our main. So I don't want to speculate on like a, a green card if I'm not even sure that I'm going to play it. What's next? So the butler wants us to control multicolored permanents before it becomes good. Maybe. Obscura, not the colors we need. Parcel could fix our mana. So that's not the worst. Otherwise we can take one of the black cards. It's either Parcel or Butler, I think. If we want to give the Dancer a shot. And I'm kind of liking it here as a nice curve topper in an aggressive deck. Okay, so we've got a Broker Sideout, which would fix for green and white. 
Another parcel. Nothing else too exciting. Don't think this is a social climber deck. So we're, we're more likely to be a red white splash green, I would say. So between parcel and hideouts, I guess I'll take my green white land. Next, we've got an equipment in Jackhammer or a Mythic Rare for the collection. Don't want Chrome Cats, Arc Spitters, pretty medium. And nothing else too exciting. So it's like, do I want a Jackhammer in a deck that already has a couple vehicles that uh, require more creatures? Probably not. So I'll just Rare Draft. Socialite could also be okay, but, but again, I think we're more likely to be red, white, splash green, in which case Socialite wouldn't make the cut. Okay, there's a Roastmaster, which I don't mind. Good 3-drop for a more aggressive deck. So black seems relatively open so far. Red to a decent extent as well. Haven't seen a ton of amazing white cards in this direction. So I can speculate on the Demon's Jew in case we do pivot into black. By your silence, kind of clunky, but does get rid of some problematic permanence. Not too interested in the other cards here. I guess we'll speculate on Demon's Jew. And Obscure Astorefront once again, not what we need. Take a Revel Ruiner just in case. And an Antagonize. Antagonize would have been fun with double... Uh, Double strike creature, but went in a slightly different direction. Okay, so we're red, that's for sure. Second caller is still kind of up for grabs, but hopefully we can make Naya work. And to that end, there's Rocco as an okay card. Five mana gets a two drop. Uh, we did pass a bunch of goods. Naya mana fixing in the first pack. Jewel Thief, of course, always great. So that's maybe an incentive to go green as one of our primary colors, after all. There's a quick draw dagger as a nice comma trick, slash equipment. Uh, maybe we need to hope to wheel Rocco and just take the Jewel Thief, try to go red-green splash white. Don't think we missed out on too many amazing green cards in the first pack. Because, yeah... Passing those double strike creatures also kind of sends a signal that we're not white. So someone might have picked those up. Okay, this pack has Unlucky Witness, just a fine one drop. I could still try and go white with uh, an Informant at two mana. Goldhound and red. Although, not really what we need in this deck, I don't think. So it's like an Unlucky Witness versus maybe a Forge Boss if we go uh, red-black after all. I think I like Witness. Might be able to pick up some uh, Author Sacrifice synergies. I guess there's also a chance we're just going uh, Junt or Riveteers. In which case I could take a Masked Bandits. Although I'm kind of liking the Decoy as an aggressive green 2-drop. And that could still leave the door open to be Riveteers. And keep the curve nice and low. Sure, that seems good. And then can hope to wheel maybe a Jackhammer, maybe Bandits if we want to splash a bit of black. The Sawjack could be a fine filler. What's next? Get another pump spell if we want it. Gardener, that's kind of a medium 2-drop. Warm Welcome could be okay if we go heavy creatures. Just as a value card, but it's kind of slow. Might just want a Gardener and then hope to we'll antagonize. 2-drops and pump spells is going to be our deck. So right now the butler's not looking great, Fleetfoot Dancer's still questionable. Ooh, depopulate. That's an incentive to go a little bit more into white. Even if I don't end up 
playing it in my deck, it's still a nice rare to have. Pummeler would be a, a fine curve topper, like a 6-3 trample, gets one free attack in with a shield counter. Could be okay. But uh, yeah, this depopulates tempting. Otherwise, Plasma Jockey is just okay. Not a huge fan of Light em Up. Or we could take another big score. I'll take a depopulate and see where we end up. Another Roastmaster seems fine. I can pick up more expensive cards later. Both of these would be fine curve toppers. So we've got some decent early game now. Jewel Thief, double Roastmaster. Some good two drops. Pump spell. Not a whole lot of removal so far. A Riveteer's Overlook could be okay. If we are planning to splash a bit of black, especially. Um, no black cards I really want here. Like maybe dig up the body. But seems questionable. Alright, there's another Pummeler if we want it, or we can take Antagonites, which may be more important. Yeah, and it also plays well with Menace creatures and Trample creatures in general. And then we may pick up another Pummeler later. Got Quick Draw Dagger, that looks good. In a low curve creature deck. A comma trick that sticks around. And now do we want a Gold Hound or a Sawjack? Might still be Sawjack. Our deck's aggressive, but still don't think we're very excited about Gold Hound unless we have more equipment like Jackhammers and Gold Hound goes up in value. Can take it now. And nothing I really want. Uncommon for the Vault, I suppose. Alright, there's a Pummeler, might play one of those as a Curve Topper. Okay, heading into the last pack, opened a pretty fun one, Meeting of the Five, but that's not what our deck is all about, unfortunately. Have very little mana fixing, so that's not gonna happen. We do have Strangle, so that seems like a fine pickup, just efficient removal. Uh, Hope to Wheel, maybe Gilded Pinions as another equipment. Nothing else I really want. Okay, there's Rocco. We didn't get one last pack. But then again, maybe we're just a two-color deck without needing to splash white. Even though Fleetfoot Dancer is a powerful card. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're just two-color. What about a Bouncer's Beatdown? Kind of like an instant speed, rabbit bite, more of a ramp through, I suppose. And you get a discount when targeting black permanents. Yeah, I guess we could use more removal. This one's not bad. So we'll try that, and then hope to wheel either antagonize or maybe another dagger. Let's see, we've got take to the streets as kind of an overrun, not that exciting. We've got Price fight, which requires us to have large creatures because it's an actual fight. Another antagonize. How many shadows do I have? Three. This is looking like a rare draft spot since we can probably get another antagonize later. And I'm not too thrilled about anything else. Ooh, devilish valley. Can we make that work in this deck? It's not a great valet deck, since we're not making a lot of tokens. But it may still be good enough. The alternative would be... a Gardener, just a 2-mana 2-2 for the most part. Yeah, I'll take the valet, and then maybe we'll be able to pick up some more token makers. Ooh, I do like a cleanup crew. Just as a powerful 6-drop. There's another patrol, however. Which I may have to take, although it's close. Because we already have a Pummeler at 6, don't need a ton of those. Our deck wants to stay low curve, and I could definitely use more 2-drops. 
and patrols a pretty high quality one. And I'll try to patrol, but cleanup crews certainly an option. All right, Chatmere's fixer, even though we don't have a ton of treasure, might still be the pick. A ready to rumble, kind of expensive. Most wanted, not something I want. I'll take the fixer. Another jackhammer. Seems fine. Don't know if I'll play both. Go for a sawjack. Yeah, I don't think we're splashing white, sadly. The incentive is not really there. So Butler can go. Don't know if I'll play both sawjacks. Well, I guess we can rare draft a meeting of the five. Or we can take an initiate. Initiate's actually not terrible with antagonize. Yeah. I mean, this is just another 20 gems or 40 gems or whatever. So I'll try the initiate. And then also plays well with Jackhammer. Can take another quick draw dagger, or we can rare draft a structural assault. I think dagger will actually be pretty decent in this deck. Nothing here. Okay, so this is 16 land. We may be able to get away with 16 land. We've got our six pump effects, a little bit of removal with B Town and Strangle. Another Pummeler may be able to play a second copy, but then we'll have to cut something else. Alright, so I need to make a couple changes here, but either 16 or 17 lands. Kind of lacking big score to get rid of lands in the late game, synergizes with our fixer. Um, and then, as we mentioned, we've got a couple equipment and pump spells, which will come in handy. Getaway car with plenty of creatures. I'll play one Sawjack. Valet's not looking great, although I guess it is pretty good with equipment. Like if we can antagonize or play an equipment on the Valet and then play a creature, it's going to be a lot more impactful. So I think it's actually still good enough in this deck. And then maybe cut a Pummeler anyway, keep the curve low, and then play 16 land. Yeah. Our curve really only needs to get up to three for the most part, and then got a couple expensive cards, but not that many. So the witness should be good too. Okay, I think uh, this will be our deck, and then the mana distribution. Tiny bit more red than green. But probably not enough to diverge from eight and eight. Yeah, I think this is uh, going to be our deck. So just a pretty simple red-green beatdown deck. Nothing fancy. Okay. Let's go. And uh, yeah, on the play with a nice hand. Turn to patrol. Won't be blitzing this one. Could also play decoy. Although, I don't have any combos with it. Decoy is pretty nice with Dagger, if we ever get that combo. Turn 3, Thief. Alright, patrol down. Overseer, yeah, that's a good one. Draws a card, gains a life. So what's our plan here? 
decoy can basically trade for Overseer and draws a card. Um, although we have a Sawjack, so I'm not too worried about the Flyer. So we may just play a double patrol here instead without blitzing. And then decoy can make sure the patrols keep connecting. Fencer is scary, although we can trade off for decoy here. So blitz decoy must be blocked if able, the rest can attack. And then doesn't matter what we pump. Briefcase, make a token, and a backup agent for a plus one counter. Ooh, Antagonize was a great pickup here. So we can attack with a team, and then Patrol probably wants to pump itself so they cannot double block as effectively with backup agents. And then hope they double block Jewel Thief instead. We're gonna keep a land in hand in case of big score for sure. Perfect. Put on double blocking our Trampler. So no point of damage goes to waste. And saw Jack. Alright, gotta dodge a depopulate here pretty much. Rocco for X equals 4. That may be able to stabilize them. Although we still have two menace creatures, so... I think they're still dead unless they can put a lifelinker in play. Alright, Magician with two blockers maybe could do it, but a quick draw dagger is going to be a blowout. Yeah, creatures and combo tricks, pretty simple, but gets the job done. On to the next one. Ooh, this hand's a little awkward. No creatures, a couple uh, removal spells, and a combo trick. But what I like about it is that at least we have some cheap removal and we're on the draw. So we're not going to fall too far behind. And then Big Score can hopefully dig us into more creatures if necessary. But yeah, ideally we have a two drop on curve here. Socialites. Do I kill a socialite? Yeah, probably. Gardener. Ooh, and a devilish valet. And we've got a quick draw dagger to go with it. Big score probably discards Forest at this point. Fencer could be a problem, but Beat Town is going to be our solution. Okay. What if I just attack with Valet, opponents? If they block with Fencer, we get them with Dagger. If they double block, we still get them. So I think Valet might be able to attack. And then we'll probably end up playing Jewel Thief anyway. I think I want to get the Jewel Thief in play as opposed to going for big score. Just 
just because that sets up our beatdown for next turn. Although if I big score, discard land, two treasure, next turn, six mana. I guess we could jewel thief plus beatdown. Yeah, maybe that's still worth it. Although then I was probably better off keeping valet back. I'll go with the uh, thief. Probably could have gotten away with just bumping valley and then attacking, and I doubt I'll double block. Alright, so we need to try and keep this fencer within range of our beatdown. May have to combine dagger plus beatdown. Opponent playing blue as well. Discarded the broken wings. Passes. Unlucky witness the draw. Okay. So, could use witness as a cheap power doubler for devilish valley. Don't know if that's gonna come up here. So I may just attack with jewel thief. And then I can quick draw dagger if necessary. I think I still play my land out despite big score, so we can maybe beat down and dagger at instant speed if necessary. And then Thief can attack. And we'll get them with the dagger. And then I could beat down now, or we can wait for them to play another creature out. Backup agents. Maybe he puts another counter on Fencer, we'll see. Alright, so response will beat down. Alright, so step one is probably big score. Discard lands. I may want to move dagger and then play witness. Ooh, Jetmir's fixer as well. So what we could do is move dagger to valet, play two creatures out, and then goes to four, goes to eight power. But then they can double block either valet or thief. I guess Valet would not be a good double block because it has 4 toughness, so they would double block Thief, take 8, down to 9. Didn't think that's actually as good as just hitting for 4 and then setting up that play for next turn. And then I could play Fixer, although it's going to cost me a treasure. So now maybe move Dagger to Valet. Then I think we make that play next turn. And then now I might as well play out my mountain since we don't have any big scores left. And not expecting any discard effects. Another pump spell could just win the game here. Pummeler's not bad either. Alright, so maybe step one. Play Witness. See if that resolves. And then we have to decide if we want to play Pummeler. Opponent didn't seem to have any responses. So I'll go for Pummeler. And smash. Maybe some removal for attacking creatures could still get us. Opponent falls to two. And we'll pass it back. Civil servants. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On the play with a nice opening hand. Turn to patrol. Jewel thief. Hopefully on three. Let's 
small consideration for Gardener to maybe untap our mana. Which I guess could have potentially come up here. Although Patrol just has an easier time attacking past opposing blockers. Right, Bandits fixes mana. And I could play Initiate out as well. Or we can save the treasure to maybe set a big score. Yeah, let's try that instead. Do have a quick draw dagger to maybe combo with initiates, but not a whole lot of pump spells. Magician makes a token, presumably. So it looks like a good quick draw dagger turn. So we can attack. And pump itself, or we can incentivize the opponent to double block. Eh, either way works, I guess. Perfect. Yeah, we'll say this quick draw dagger has been quite something. Might have wanted to play land first just to let me play initiate here without using treasure. But I might end up discarding land to big score. At which point do I still want to keep my treasure? Yeah, I think we'll just pass. Or I could play Gardener. Sure, I guess we can play Gardener. And then any additional lands we can discard. Opponent with a big score. And an antagonize. Hoo-hoo, boy. That plus initiates could be fireworks. Although their opponents, let's see, taking 8 plus 4. They're close to dead here. But I guess we'll initiate still. Attack, can untap my land. Uh, pump itself. So I could still big score if needed. And I guess next turn we could pump initiate with patrol, antagonize, and then after untapping a land maybe still give it double strike. So the initiate by itself could just kill the opponents. Ooh, Ziatora, 6-6 six, six flyer. Yep. Cannot sacrifice itself. It's gonna be a sticky fingers. So opponent seems dead, no need to big score. Mayhem patrol as well. So yeah, I think we'll enact our game plan so I can give this double strike. Attack with all, untap my land, pump with patrol, and then I can antagonize, so my initiate deals 12 damage. Awesome. On the play with a nice opening hand. Let's see, do I want to go for Gardener now? If I turn to Gardener, I might be able to turn 3 double patrol. Although part of me wants to play Roastmaster before emptying out my hand. And I think double patrol is still pretty high upside here. Or we could Roastmaster plus Strangle. Lackey. That's fine. So yeah, let's patrol just normal. Attack, untap land. Put in chumps. And play another patrol. And then next turn maybe Roast Master, untap land, play witness. So our opponent on an Obscura deck. Might be more controlling. Contender kind of points towards a more aggressive deck. 
and that could potentially trade for Gardner. Opponent could make a fish if they'd like. So, hmm, we've got a lot of options. I could also big score. If I go full control here, discarding maybe unlucky witness. I don't think I need to strangle anything just yet. So let's go full control. Attack. Patrols can pump each other. And then in response to the Gardener, we want to float some mana. So we can big score. Alright. And then I could still maybe play a Roast Master. Could see a double block. Or a contender can just trade for Gardener. That's fine. And then, yeah, I think it's okay to get a Roast Master out there. And then next turn we might end up blitzing the patrol, we'll see. Got a nice bit of pressure. Let's see if a Roast Master is gonna be toast. Definitely got some good value out of our Gardener. Essentially ramped us for one, two turns in a row. Ooh. Quasar. Yeah, that's uh, for toughness. Pretty difficult to get past. So what if I were to... Blitz Patrol. And then we can pump... Roastmaster... And then patrols can pump each other. And then our opponent probably tries to double block a patrol and we can finish off with Strangle. Although, do I still want to blitz is a question? I think so, because the extra blitz will maybe force the opponent to block with Quasar as they feel that they're under too much pressure otherwise. So one, and then which one makes more sense to pump? Um, do I pump it a second time is a question. If it goes up to three, then they're even more incentivized to double block that one. So I think that's worth it. Alright, then we'll put Quasar first. Maybe I should have just pumped the ones that uh, weren't going to die. Get to draw. Ooh, and a quick draw dagger could be great too. So our opponent's at six. A roast master can whittle them down. Opponent's gonna dig up the body. They could have attacked for one first, I suppose, but... Uh, Gets back Quasar and Cutthroat as well. So that can trade for Roastmaster. Antagonize just ends the game here. Yeah, creatures and pump spells. Still works 20 years later. And another beautiful hand. Yeah, if we can keep being on the play with a turn 2 patrol into Jewel Thief, we probably stand a good chance. All 
I feel like one day I'm gonna misclick and accidentally blitz one of these on turn two. Okay. Smash play Jewel Thief. And then we've got a couple options next turn. Sawjack. Okay, so we could punish a double block with Beatdown. To an extent, I guess I could double block Patrol. I guess I could just attack with Jewel Thief. If they double block, great. If not, they take three. We play Patrol and Decoy and pass. Or I could Blitz Patrol. Who do we pump? Maybe pump the real patrol twice. And then get an attack in that way. Yeah. That way, real patrol would trade if they try and double block. Don't know if this was the, the best play necessarily, but I'm kind of hoping they just double block Jewel Thief. That works. So we're gonna kill the Sawjack with Beatdown. And draw a card. Ooh, nice. Dagger's perfect. Don't quite have the mana to combine it with a Blitz the Decoy, but... Okay, Stimulus Package can make two tokens at instant speed. Although we can uh, Quick Draw Dagger if they try and double block Patrol. Could even pump Jewel Thief here. Don't know if there's another two mana spell we need to play around necessarily. Because I want to incentivize them to make two tokens double block Patrol. So I think this accomplishes that best. Opponent just takes it, in which case... I may want to play Decoy without Blitz, and then next turn we can maybe set up Dagger with it. So opponent may be using the Treasures for Ramp instead. Bandits 5-5, five, five. okay, that's large. Although, we've got a nice trick up our sleeves here. Who <laughs> antagonize. Well, now they're just dead, but I kind of want to make the sweet play. So I'm going to do it. So, quick draw dagger, decoy, attack with it, pump with patrol, points force to block it. And then we can kill them afterwards, so we get to have our cake and eat it too. Alright, opponent concedes before we can show them the antagonize. I guess I should have kept a dagger surprise. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand may not be good enough without red mana. Okay, another pretty awkward one. We are on the draw. I can play Witness on one. A land lets me play at least Patrol and a couple other spells. And then if Witness dies, we can maybe play some lands as well. I'll try it. And then kind of like Initiate with Jackhammer and Antagonize. So maybe Gardener goes. An 4 that's a good blocker. Blue whites, backup agent. And initiate attacks. I think we're jumping to it or land drop. Oh. 
Uh-oh. Yikes. Well, that's probably game over. At least they're not dealing a ton of damage just yet. Okay, we can play spells. I'm guessing patrol. Freelance muscle. Yeah, that's uh, gonna hit pretty hard. Anyway, we can get past it. I mean, any chance it would block my patrol if I attack? Seems unlikely. Hmm, I guess never mind. They have a 5 toughness creature. Yeah, so it would get plus 5, plus 5. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. So it's probably just thief and pass. And then maybe next turn combine plus one power from patrol on thief to beat down the muscle. Throng? How many of those did they get? Oh wow. Four throngs. Yeah, this was going to be a difficult game to win. Gets another one. Okay. A 9-9, nine, nine, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that's probably the end of the line. I, w I can take out Muscle. So there's that. So I guess I can attack and then... Pump Thief. See how they block. Okay. So agent first and then I need to beat down the muscle here. And then still trade for throng. Alternatively I could let's say I put the initiate first. Then what? Still doesn't do much. I could like antagonize the patrol, kill the initiate. I could quick draw dagger thief, but then there's still the muscle problem. So yeah, I think we just keep it simple. And I may still be dead on board to initiate if I don't play my own initiates. But yeah, this game was basically over on turn one. So for opponent attacks, I'll be forced to probably block the throng. Otherwise, initiate could pump. And uh, would become a six powered creature, basically. I guess if our opponent's internet cuts out, we have a, a chance here. Is that what's happening? Alright, we'll trade. And yeah, I guess my opponent actually disconnected here. Play Rose Master and pass, and then we'll see if uh, they get back in time. Although we're still in chum block mode. Oh, I think they're back. I saw some movement, so that does not bode well for us. Yep, alright, so I've got a chum block here. I think I'll just take it and then if they want to kill us they can. Right, I guess they don't want to kill us just yet. They're out of throngs at least. Ok, 
can big score. We'll just pass, but I think that means we're just dead if they attack with a team. I guess it would have to pump with initiate. I could big score, try and find a two drop. Not sure why I'm still playing this game. Alright, I think we're really just dead now. Unless their internet disconnected again. The plot twists in this game are keeping me on the edge of my seat. See, we would have missed out on all this entertainment value if we just conceded on turn two. So aren't we happy that we're still here? All right. <laughs> Opponent's still uh, passing the turn. Play Pummeler, I guess. And now we wait. Rocks resolves. No attacks. And now we wait. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, missing our second land drop. Still somehow won the game. I'll take it. On the play. Could use more creatures, but Patrol does play particularly well with uh, Dagger and Jackhammer. So I'll try it. Going in mono blue so far. Fixer's nice. We'll see if they have a counter spell here. Could have gone for like a jackhammer instead, which we don't mind if it gets countered, but if not, I would rather get an extra creature in play. Ooh, nice, out of the way. Targeting a green permanence, just costing two mana. So it's like a kicked into the royal, pretty powerful. Decoy, I kind of like decoy over fixer since it sets up our dagger nicely. The main reason to go Fixer is that we only have single red, so if we were to draw another forest, we may not be able to double spell, but the upside of our opponent playing a random creature that they have to block and then we can dagger seems pretty important. They can go up to 5 toughness and we can still get them with a, a one extra power from, from patrol. It's gonna be their own Fixer. And yeah, we can attack and dagger. And our decoy is still in play, although it's no longer going to have first strike next time it attacks. Could use a few more lands to get these jackhammers going. Social climber. Well, I can just strangle that one, although then I can't really play anything else. Um, yeah, maybe we just attack with patrol this turn and then play fixer plus initiate and then next turn get something going. Still can strangle next turn to maybe clear a path and have decoy trade for something larger. Opponent seems to be playing four colors here. Unleash the Inferno can kill our dagger as well. Alright, so nice two for one. Still only single red, so maybe it's time for Jackhammer after all. Fixer can pump as well, but would still trade. So what I could do is play Jackhammer, equip the Initiate, 
And then if they want to trade for that, so be it. If they want to trade for Fixer, that's fine. Could also send Patrol Pumping Initiate and then giving it Double Strike if they block. Although I guess they wouldn't block in the first place, probably. I kind of like Jackhammer Equip Initiates and attack with the team. Could have pumped the Jetmir's Fixer to maybe incentivize them to block there, but that's fine. Now we didn't need to waste mana pumping the Initiate, even though Double Strike would have been fun. Can pile onto our Menacing Patrol to maybe close out the game. Okay, so ideally they play something that dies to Strangle and we can keep up the pressure. That works. So kill Appraiser, equip Patrol, attack. Another Mountain lets us play another Jackhammer, potentially. Pummeler could also be our game ender if we get to it. Alright, Mountain's not bad. So, can equip, strangle, and then either play another Hammer or Pump Fixer. So if I attack, I can hit them for 4, 5, 6, 7. Kind of like that, overplaying another jackhammer since we can play an equip next turn anyway. And then the menacing patrol could close out the game. Witness Protection shrinks it down, still a 3-1. So they'll need something else. A whack. Okay. Antagonize, that might be exactly what we need here. If our opponent has some sort of burn spell. So pumping or equipping kind of does the same, so I might as well equip. Move to combat and then see if Antagonize gets the job done. Alright, opponent had the bounce spell, sadly. Okay, so now we could be in a bit of trouble. Do I put it back on top? I don't think I do. If we find a hasty blitz creature, that might be better. And if I find a land for pummeler, that's probably better too. So yeah, Blitz Creature, another patrol would probably be our best bet. But maybe Pummeler can get there too. Especially with double jackhammer antagonize. Gardener. Gardener's not great. But you know, can still trade off for the outlaw get strangled. Slightly punished for not keeping up antagonize, but so be it. Jewel Thief, that's nice. I think I still equip, and then next turn we can pummel her, or we can go for the kill with all our equipment and pump spells. Climber, that's fine. So they have 7 toughness to my 7 plus 4, 11 power potentially. Never mind, Fatal Grudge kills Jewel Thief. Would have been very good against Pummeler too, so maybe that's still an okay outcome. Blitz Creature could still do it. That's a Blitz Creature. Equip. Attack. Did we get there? We did, awesome. Well, we got a clean sweep here. Took a little bit of luck and one opponent disconnecting to get there, but in general, this red-green aggro deck felt very good, especially when getting those two drop into Jewel Thief starts. So, yeah. Of course, we're still in bronze here. Maybe didn't face the toughest uh, opposition, but 
That being said, drafting an aggressive two-color deck seems like a nice place to be in uh, Streets of New Capenna. So if you're just picking up this draft format, then uh, Creatures and Pump Spells is not a bad strategy. In this case, Double Dagger put in a ton of work, Antagonize was great. Just a little bit of removal. And then mainly these patrols, the decoy also did quite a bit of work. And uh, even got one nice attack in with a Devilish Valley. So yeah, that's uh, gonna wrap up our draft. Let's crack some packs and maybe do some pack one, pick one discussions. Got seven packs to open even. All right, pack one, pick one. Avalon the Covetous. Yeah, this one's pretty difficult to turn down, and you can still easily play it in a two-color deck. Quite a few vampires floating around. So, if you really want to go for an aggressive deck, I guess Virtuoso would not be a bad pick. Lackey also has some cool synergies, but Avalon seems too good to pass up. Warchief has to be the pick here. Otherwise, there's a nice patrol. Not a whole lot else. Mysterious Limousine. Pretty fun card. Can lead to some cool scenarios. And uh, overall quite powerful and limited too, I think, even though it is 5 mana. There's a nice flyer in Echo Inspector. Flyers certainly capable of ending games in this set. And there's some other good cards like uh, Agent, just a fine 2-drop if you need to fill out the curve. Undercover Operative comes in with a shield counter. Pretty nice clone effect. Uh, probably the best card here. Informant, another good 2-drop. Forge Boss could go nicely into kind of a Blitz or a Sacrifice deck. <laughs> Widespread Thieving. Haven't seen this one in action too much. Doubt it's great in draft unless you're drafting some weird multicolor concoction, but uh, otherwise safe pick is probably an Echo Inspector here. Lancer Shredder, quite powerful. Just two mana and then keeps on growing over time, giving you a ton of card selection. Sleep with the Fishes, also good removal. And uh, there's some other playable cards here, like the Initiate. Maestro's Initiate as well. Demon's Jew, if you want some card draw. And last pack, Evolving Door. Fun challenge in drafts. I don't know if it's going to be worth it very often. But uh, could be a fun inclusion. Best card overall. Might be like a Pugilist. The Libation also, a powerful pump spell. With some uh, cool play patterns. Otherwise maybe Bypass to put on your Virtuoso. Alright, do we add a Crimson pack for good measure? Sure. Let's see if I remember anything about this set. Curse of Hospitality. Not a card I've seen in action very much, but can provide quite a bit of card advantage. Otherwise, the Ridge Wolf was pretty decent for like a Wolf aggro deck. There's some other playable cards here too, but uh, yeah, one of the red cards seems fine. Okay, so yeah, that'll do it for today's video. want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.